Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in a video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the raid on Scarborough and Hartlepool, located in Scarborough, Hartlepool, Whitby, and involving the elements of the British Royal Navy and the German Imperial Navy on December 16, 1914. Operating on advance warning from Naval Intelligence Room, Admiral George Warrender was sent with a Royal Navy fleet of six battleships, four heavy cruisers, four battle cruisers, six light cruisers, and eight submarines to stop the German raiders of the North Atlantic. On the 16th of December, British Admiral Warrender actually spotted the part of the German fleet but believed they were part of the Royal Navy's Grand Fleet, which was supposed to be somewhere nearby. German Admiral Frederick Ingenhall, however, did recognize the British fleet, but decided to withdraw. He ordered Admiral Franz Hipper and his scouting group, though, to continue their attack on a seashore town. In command of the first High Seas Fleet Scouting Group, he began the process of shelling the English seaport of Hartlepool, West Hartlepool, and Scarborough. The shelling lasted over an hour and resulted in more than 750 killed and wounded in the town, although the British defenses of Hugh Battery and Lighthouse Battery were able to damage three of the German ships, including their cruiser, the Blucher. The German casualties were eight men killed, 12 wounded, one armored cruiser damaged, two light cruisers damaged. British losses were much higher life-wise, with 86 civilians killed, 424 wounded, seven soldiers killed, 14 wounded, one scout cruiser was damaged, along with three destroyers damaged. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.